Hey guys, so I'm gonna show you in this video uh, how to make a recovery drive with Windows 8. At the end of this video there will be some technical details that you should be aware of in case you are doing the recovery drive on a different computer. For example, when your Windows already crashed and you cannot access it and you need to make a recovery drive with a different computer. So to make a recovery drive is actually quite simple, especially if you, for example, if you're using the English version of uh, Windows, then you just go for the search option in the menu on the right and you write recovery drive. If you're using a different version, you see we have a menu create a recovery drive. If you use a different language version and you're not sure how is it, how is it called in your language, then you can just go for the settings in this menu on the right, control panel, and usually you will have it open in this way. So you can just change it here in the view by two large icons and you just look for icon where it's which is called something close to recovery. So here we have an icon recovery, the picture will be the same. We click on it and we create a recovery drive. To create a recovery drive we need a USB drive. Here we have two options. We can either create a simple recovery drive and then we will need around 500 megabytes. Actually, it's from 300 to 400 usually, depending on the computer. So we need just an older pen drive that you are not using. The other option is that usually if you have not received the CD with Windows installation, when you bought the computer, it means that the installation is already on your computer. There is a partition that you don't have access to usually. Uh, where where the Windows uh, installation files are put. So you can also do, when you have marked this option over here, hop, copy the recovery partition from the PC to the recovery drive. It will copy all those installation files to the USB drive. But for that you will need a very big uh, USB stick because you're going to need around 16 gigabytes. And usually I don't think it's needed. So we're going to do here a simple recovery drive that you can use when your Windows crash and you cannot access it. So we're just going to unmark this uh, option over here. And we're going to click on Next. So it's going to ask us to provide a drive that is at least 512 megabytes. And we will let it do it. Everything on the drive will be deleted, so the best thing, as I said, is to use an old drive that you're not using anymore. Okay, and we quick click to create it, and now it's going to take around 4 to 5 minutes. Less than 5 minutes, and now that the recovery drive is ready, we can check it on our PC, and it's 350 megabytes. And now I will give some technical details in case you want to do a recovery drive with a different computer than, the, for example, your Windows crashed. So, in case your Windows in case your Windows crashed, it's actually quite easy to obtain a second recovery drive. As I said, you only need a USB stick and a computer with Windows 8. Probably anyone who has bought a PC in the last 16 months will have one. And it can be bought in a different country, it can be a different language version of the Windows. The only things that you have to pay attention to is that to make sure that you're making a recovery drive for Windows 8 with other Windows 8, not Windows 8 Pro. And it has to be the same 64 or 33 bit operating system. The only thing is that if you're using a different language version, then the recovery menu will be in the language of the recovery drive. I made a whole second video where you can uh, learn how to proceed in case you need to use a recovery drive and the Windows crashed. I put the link over here. Uh, I hope the video helped you and if you, if you like it, then like it on or comment on YouTube. Uh, good luck with, with recovering.